I'm more compassionate, I'm more self-assured, I'm more patient. It was scary. It was scary, but then it, it made me quiet. The journey has been amazing. It took me from broken to fully vibrant and functional again. It's like they gave me the path and the life back to who I am and who I always was. Uh, compassion, definitely. Patience, excitement. Love, obviously. Yeah, it was, that was like love at first sight. She reminded me one of the horses I had when I was young. So you can tell when an animal is the right animal for you. Just seeing um, how much satisfaction and just how um, just to say that we can take a horse, a wild horse, and gentle them was a, a thing that Don and I talked about with these veterans. Like, what if they have no experience or very little experience, and you put them with a horse that has never been touched by a human and really challenge them to find it in themselves to, one, have the confidence and the commitment to want to do this? They all picked a horse that was so their personality, or the challenge that they were not uh, finding in themselves. You know, they didn't want to accept some things, but their horse made them have to expose it. I looked at the horses, I saw her, and I looked, I saw a war horse. You know, I just saw something in her, and also that she would also have a little bit of her wild in her. And the more we started communicating with each other, the more she just grew on me. Um, Gee, I'm gonna cry. Um. I just wanted to spend time with the horse. Taming it and breaking it, it was kind of like a, just a benefit of spending time with her. And so um, I, had the, I think I had the first, I had the first like touch or pet, I think. Um, but it just because I just, I wouldn't leave her alone. And I'd just get up next to her and she'd move away and just persistence. I like uniqueness, I like something different. And so I wanted a, a, a gray horse. And so I picked her out of a lineup and uh, she came to me June 4th. I didn't actually touch her till June 25th. And June 4th was my birthday. So I met her on my birthday. And then on June 25th, I was actually able to take off her collar. And I have it in my truck right now. So, and from then on, when she realized I wasn't there to, to eat her, to hurt her. Um, the bond started, and it started. And she knows when I'm having a bad day, and she gets a little clingier, but I think what's great is she's come to me when she's been uneasy, and that's pretty awesome. And I had so much anxiety and fear just being in a round pen with her alone. They gave me confidence again and showed me, you're okay standing there. And then I saw the horse going through the same thing. I'm terrified. And then I taught her, you're okay standing there. Everyone here gave me this confidence to work through things. I started being able to do everything on her. I trusted her to do anything. She would start freaking out and I could be on top of her and ride through it. Even if I'm bucked off, to know that I can get back on. What the veteran gets out of the horse, they get, they have to get themselves. We don't, we can't make that happen. We're in it for the veterans, but we're also in it for the horse too. So we want the horse to get a good chance. And, and like in, in an adoption that we're gonna have, we want a good horse to go out. And it's really cool for our community to actually come out here and meet these veterans and talk to them and hear their stories of how impactful a horse is to a human. For us as veterans, it's a therapy thing. Even though there's not a counselor or stuff out here, my horse don't judge me. For me, it helped me realize things that maybe I wasn't consciously paying attention to, but my horse just can feel it and is perceptive of it. I'm a heck of a lot better person today uh, because of it. It's to think in June, this horse came charging out of this trailer and then to be on her and to have her trust, it was just, it's crazy to me. There's just no words to describe how grateful I'll be for the rest of my life.